Hello, so in this video, I would like to go over all of the different um, dresses that I've created that is based on this first design. So this one, I wanted something elegant, but slightly different. Um, I wanted to create like a backwards check, so like the Nike sign, but like backwards um, in the front and have it be asymmetrical and then the V up top be symmetrical so you had this interest in the middle right here with the backwards check and um, when I drew it it came out not as asymmetrical so it looked pretty normal and I didn't think it was enough interest. So I really um, worked on that in the back of the dress right here and made it, you know, a backwards check. And I think ended up looking cool. Um, I'm a big fan of asymmetrical type things in clothing, um, especially, you know, because the back here has this fringe that's hanging uh, from the neck. So right here, there is a fringe that would be like a metallic fringe or beads, I'm not sure. But because that's so symmetrical, I thought the lower back would be cool being asymmetrical. And then um, I really like that design, so I thought why not work with that design a little bit more but this time in a red and then make it more prominently asymmetrical in the front so I designed this but after looking at this it looked really really bothersome with uh, the backwards check being so dominant um, in the dress design and so uneven and um, the V in the front for the dress um, became deeper, so it's like a deep cut. And then um, because it's a deep cut, it's so close to the check on the bottom, uh, the bottom uh, hip line, um, and it just really did not go well together. Um, the back looks pretty cool. I really like how the back came out. But after a while of drawing this kind of thing where it was, you know, with the asymmetrical uh, V, it ended up um, becoming something that I kind of wanted to somehow still work with, but kind of make it not as, like... Um, like because of the V and then the check, the backwards check, it kind of like played against each other too much and kind of battled with each other. And so I kind of tried to ease that by making the backwards check um, not as deep. So it became more of an obtuse angle as opposed to an acute angle. So right here in the waist, it became more obtuse. Um, and then the back I changed, so this is how the back ended up looking like. Um, I put thought into the construction of the back and how, um, you know, the back would be held together and how the fringe would lay. So after doing that, I decided to go with a good old fashioned, um, just, um, a sash around the waist type look with a deep v-neck for this more traditional looking dress and it was something pretty refreshing for me to work with. Um, I really wanted to add flowers in the embroidery but I decided not to and just work with leaves. Sometimes flowers are really pretty but I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I'm now 37 or if it's just my taste. But sometimes I think leaves are just fine and that the pink really screams flower and girliness. 